And you can't tell God how and when he responds to our prayers. You can't dictate to him. You have to say, uh, I'm always open. I'm always ready. I'm always willing to hear. Years ago, when I was a teenager, I had the chance to be at the Sacred Grove. I entered there alone, no one else was around. And I thought, this is really the perfect setting for me to pray and to receive kinds of answers that Joseph Smith did here in this very place. And uh, I wanted some kind of confirmation, uh, whatever the Lord would give me and however he would speak of all that had happened there and the truth of the uh, related to the restoration of the gospel. So I, uh, I, I have to say I was very sincere. I prayed uh, with deep sincerity for a long time, but nothing came. There was no response. There was no answer. I didn't hear anything. So finally I gave up and left. And I was obviously disappointed. I didn't know what I'd done wrong or what I should have done that I didn't do. And I thought a lot about it, about just six weeks later, as I was home. Uh, I was reading in the Book of Mormon. I was pondering a little quiet moment. And then even without asking, there came flooding over me that confirming spirit when the Holy Spirit speaks to our spirit. And I knew, I knew. But I learned from that experience that you, you can't tell God how and when he responds to our prayers. You can't dictate to him. You have to say, uh, I'm always open. I'm always ready. I'm always willing to hear. So it taught me a lot. It taught me uh, that he does answer and we do hear him, but it's as he determines best in his wisdom and his love. <laughs>